Rachel Holden, the Nesson Studios, here with Nesson Fuels, Ryan DaCosta. And Ryan, the biggest race of the IndyCar Series is right around the corner, the Indianapolis 500. What is the buzz surrounding this Sunday's race? I think it's the fact that it's the 100th running of this race. There's a ton of history surrounding this track and this race. It's just going to be one that everyone's going to remember in a few years. Honda showed plenty of speed in qualifying, earning four of the top five spots heading into Sunday's race. So is this their year? I think it is, and I think it's a sign that they've done their homework. James Hinchcliffe starts on the pole. Townsend Bell made the switch from Chevy to Honda, and now he's starting fourth. During the pre-race testing last month, Marco Andretti accused Chevy of sandbagging the test. But after qualifying was over, I think it showed how much work Honda has put into this year's race. So when it's all said and done, who do you have drinking the milk and kissing the bricks? I'm going to go with the feel-good story of the year with James Hinchcliffe. The 29-year-old driver nearly died in a crash during practice for last year's race. Hinchcliffe was told he couldn't walk for weeks, but he was back on his feet in days. Now a year later, he's come back to the track with plenty of speed, starting on the pole. He has only one chapter left in his remarkable comeback story. I think that's winning the Indy 500, and he gets that done on Sunday. All right, thanks, Ryan. For all your Indy 500 news, keep it here on Ness and Fuel.